Yeah. You play Mary Beth, um, a tre treasury analyst um, who's basically being blackmailed by a treasury agent played by J.K. Simmons. Um, what was it exactly about the script and about that role which, which drew you into it? I think for me it was a really exciting opportunity to get to create a character from the ground up. You know, this is an original script, felt really fresh and unique and really smart. And I didn't really know what to expect when I started reading it uh, to, until the last page. You know, I, I was pleasantly surprised in terms of where the character started and where she ultimately ends up. So getting the chance to sort of find a way to portray that over the course of the movie was, was an exciting challenge for me as an actor. And, you know, I saw the cast that they'd assembled and, and was a huge fan of Gavin's work beforehand. So I was ready to, to jump in immediately. I was going to say, um, there's, there's a couple of like twists in there. Did you know about those twists before you actually started filming? Well, I, I had read the script a few times. Um, and, you know, it's interesting because you read a, a script and then you film it and then it's sort of pieced together. And so there is a sort of opportunity to shape things along the way. But I was interested to see how it would all play out. You know, certainly when I read it, I was really surprised and, and didn't have expectations of where the movie was going to go. And I, and I hoped that that translated to the screen and I feel like it ultimately does. Mm, it does. Um, I actually found it quite interesting that uh, most of the characters have complex layers to them. Um, exactly how do you go about, it's almost like playing two separate, for some of them it's two separate roles. Um, what, how do people go around doing, uh, getting into that role? I mean, what kind of research is, is undertaken? It's interesting because, you know, you want to have the specificity of, you know, what the person does for a living, where they work, what their responsibilities are. But more importantly, you know, you want to present a, a fully realized character, you know, somebody who's three-dimensional and has hopes and dreams and aspirations and feelings. So you want to sort of fill in the blanks, so to speak, of what's already in the script. And I think, to me, this was a character that on the page already felt very relatable, mm -hmm. felt like the audience would really be able to have a sense of who she was and, and why she does the things that she does. And what I think is really smartly done for each of the characters is you have a sense of some of their backstory and who it's made them in the present day. So you see that with Mary Beth, you see that with Christian Wolf and, and the other characters as well. Yeah, um, yeah obviously a Christian's got autism. Um, do you think that that was a, a conscious decision to put that kind of st that storyline into the film? So it takes away the preconception of what people think about people with autism. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's interesting. I think in terms of presenting this character with a certain amount of sensitivity there was definitely a lot of you know research done and care taken to make sure that there was an accurate portrayal uh, you know because when you're talking about people on the spectrum that doesn't have any one way of presenting itself so there are certain characteristics but you know it, it really is different in each case and I think it was a really inspired choice to have the hero be somebody who is on the spectrum and for most people seems different, mm -hmm. but really has, you know, extraordinary capabilities. And, and I think it's just a really surprising, inspired choice for the lead of a movie. Yeah. Um, just finally, um, you don't actually appear in any scenes with Ben. Did you actually get to spend any time on set together? You know, we all met as a cast at the initial table read. So we got to, you know, the, hear the script uh, loud and, and it's one of the days I remember very well because it was just that excitement of you know knowing that I was going to get to be part of such an incredible cast and you know so unfortunately yeah we didn't get to share screen time but you know I still feel really honored to to be amongst you know the talent that we've assembled for the movie and and I think Ben's done an incredible job in the film so I hope audiences have the same same experience. I enjoyed it. Okay, well thank you very much for talking to me.